Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Hood Rat Podcast and the Code Comic Show, where today we're going to look at books from the last 30 days that went from top to not, and also the 100th book on the uh, Go Collect's Top 100 that just jumped in or maybe fell off to see if it has any potential and uh, where it might lead. Um, we'll also remind you of the books that are stored in the back of your freezer mind that are behind those uh, frozen veggies and those fro frozen steaks that you may have forgotten about but thank you and welcome craig how you doing bro i'm doing i'm doing good bro how are you today i'm good man did you uh watch miss mar uh did you watch a marvel say miss marvel did I, you watch a I, marvel bro? I didn't get a chance to go see it yet uh i was super busy this last weekend um and i'm gonna be busy this weekend but we're gonna try and squeeze it in on friday night what about you did you see it Nah, man, I'm going to watch it during Thanksgiving, bro. That's nah, what I got to Yeah, Thanksgiving, there's a lot of time during Thanksgiving, man. I have plenty of open there space, is. though. Yep. Um, and open slots in my life, so I'm probably going to watch it there. But uh, That's a good, good I'm time. hearing like 50-50, so, but. Yeah, I mean, for every person that says that they didn't like it, I hear two people say they did. And they that you shouldn't listen to the naysayers. But, I mean, it's kind of hard, right? You kind of, it's kind of, it's all over the map. So I'm just going to go into it with an open mind. Yeah, I'm gonna go watch it, man. It's made for the big screen, so why yeah, not, bro? Exactly. And then um, we had uh, Madame Webb come out the uh, the trailer oh, this week. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I thought it was okay, yeah. man. I'm I'm interested. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Me too. And there was a trailer for um, Dead Boy Detectives on Netflix that came out too. So oh, that, nice. Man. That that that's it. Looks interesting. I don't really know about that one, but the Madame Webb one looks pretty dope so far. It looks cool. Yeah. There's a lot of good uh, good stuff coming on, man. I mean, coming yeah. up in the movies and uh, on a uh, stream, I mean, yeah. a lot of a lot of good things to look forward to, man. A lot of good things to stay positive about, man. That's and that's yeah. what we do here, right? Yep. On this stay show, positive, baby. We try to stay as positive as possible. And what else do we try to stay, bro? Man, we stay positive and we stay cool. That's right, man. All right, friends. So uh, the first book we have is X Men Annual Number Fourteen. Um, and this was uh, published on June 10th, 1990. And this is starring uh, my wife's favorite X-Men, my wife's favorite like superhero altogether. Um, and he is uh, the son of New Orleans, man. New Orleans' favorite son, uh, the man from the bayou. And that is uh, Remy LeBeau. And that is, uh, in other words, Gambit. Um, there are, uh, there's an argument here. Um, is this yeah. his uh, cameo or his first appearance? I mean, he appears in in several, um, yeah, like a lot of panels, bro. Like, uh, yeah. I don't know how that is a cameo. Um, I, I don't I even think he's. I don't even think he's named here, right? I think yeah. they say his name. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure they say his name. I mean, we're getting into the Hulk 180, Hulk 181, uh, you know, argument, right? Same same kind of thing going on here between this and the X Men issue with him on the cover. It was that 266, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, but but I, personally, I think this is his first appearance because just like you said, they say his name. He's in tons of panels. Yeah. And I think the other one is just a beautiful cover, you know, yeah, like it's exactly it's on the cover. And yeah, that's why people enjoy that book, um, you know, um, mm -hmm. just like the uh, the Hulk 181, man. It's like a, yeah. it's just a beautiful cover with Wolverine on it, you know, yep. so. Yeah. Um, but to to each his own, man. You know, like right. I'm not gonna try and argue which one is the first and which one is a cameo. Yep. Um, but I'll just say this: like, if you're in several panels, I think that's your first appearance. Kind of seems <laughs> like it. I, I'm gonna say I'll, I'll go on the record and say at least for me, you get you can have a cameo if you're in one panel. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're in more than one panel, that's your first appearance, bro. That's it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what makes uh, you know 180 debatable. You know, yeah. Hulk 180 yeah. is just that he's in one panel, but he also says his name, which if I think if you say your name, that's your first appearance. You yeah, know? Like, you're, you're there. You're there. Man in the shadows. You know, <laughs> exactly. Um, like yeah. like uh, in like like true cameos. Um, but what is true and what is not, man? We're living that type of reality right now. <laughs> yeah, precisely. Um, but this is written by the uh, great uh, Chris Claremont and the art by. Uh, the great art Adams, man. So this is, mm -hmm. this has some like mega star, you know, artists and writers on this one too. So that yep. puts more um, ample um, 
I mean, that puts that puts more, uh, you know, weight, um, ample yeah. weight on um, this being maybe his first appearance. But yeah, that's up to y'all, man. That's up to you guys and uh, CGC and everybody else, I guess. Yeah, you know? exactly. Um, but uh, the cover price on this was uh, $2. Um, and I think, you know, why this book had gotten hot um, was just, uh, you know, Channing Tatum, man. You know, Channing yeah. Tatum being named as uh, – as as gambit as uh, mm -hmm. uh remy lebeau uh but yeah. i always remember uh the live action of uh taylor uh kitsch you know as uh yeah you yeah. know remember from uh wolverine x-men origins wolverine yeah you know? man i thought I, awesome. I, and I thought i thought he did a great job in that man i thought like he fit he fit it yeah. well i thought so i don't know you know so um i mean channing Kit, uh, Taylor, who knows, man? Uh, you know, yeah. like, uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, he, he was already, he was already in, you know, the, um, whatever the, uh, the Fox, you know, um, X Men, Marvel, whatever, yeah. you know, and now yeah. we have Channing Tatum, who's, who's been attached to this for like years already. So who yeah. knows? Um, but let's check out what's going on on Go Collect and see. Let's, let's try to figure out where the sweet spot is on this one. All right, amigos, let's check out what's going over here on CGC and Go Collect. Um, Let's see here for uh, the universal grades. There's about five thousand six hundred eighty-seven of them. Um, signatures are about nine eighty-four, and I would say five hundred of them are Chris Claremont on those. Um, Probably. <laughs> and you know, maybe, maybe Art Adams too. You know, like yeah, Art Adams, yeah. he signs a lot, man. So yeah, maybe it's double too. sign. You know. Yeah. So mm -hmm. um, restored or four qualified or fourteen. Um, there are six nine point nines on the census for this one, man. Um, wow. And it goes for a pretty penny. Um, the last mm -hmm. one sold for. Six thousand seven hundred and one dollars on uh, March nineteenth of twenty twenty two, and that was uh, last year. Yeah. And the nine point eights, man. There's uh, one thousand four hundred forty seven on the census. The FMV on this is two hundred thirty bucks. The one year moving average is two thirty three. Ninety day average is two fifteen, and the thirty day moving average is two twelve. Um, the nine point sixes. Uh, there's about thirteen hundred on here on the census. FMV for that is one hundred. The one year average is 96. The 90 day uh, average is 89. And the 30 day moving average is 97. Um, and the 9.4 is about 800 on the census. Uh, FMV is 60 bucks. And then I'm just going to say the 30 day moving average is about 42 bucks. Um, I'll, I would say, like, I mean, for the sweet spot, man, it's not a very expensive book. I would probably go for a 9.8, man. You know? Oh, I, I, I totally agree. Don't, yeah. don't, don't waste your time uh, on anything else that then than a 9.8 in my opinion because it's this is a square bound book and there's a lot of them out there there was a lot of them printed you can find it you know you will see in a minute probably decently priced raw but like 230 for a 9.8 in a quote unquote first appearance great deal mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah it still has a lot of room you know mm -hmm. um yeah. it's pretty steady too you know it's a pretty steady nelly man you yeah. know the uh average the one year average and the 90 day average and the 30 day average are practically the same yeah, just right a couple of dollars off. So yeah, yeah. Nine point eight for me is uh where it's at, man. But let's check out what's going on over here on eBay and see uh, what the current sales are doing. All right, friends. So uh, let's check out what's going on over here on eBay. Um, so we have a new stand. So the new stands are really selling pretty high mm -hmm. compared to yeah. what the uh, directs are going. So on November twelfth, the new stand. 9.8 sold for 523. Not bad. Wow. Pretty good. Yeah, that's yeah, that's almost double, you know, over double yeah. than than uh, the direct copy. So um, and then the uh, November eleventh, um uh 8.5 sold for 43 bucks, which isn't <laughs> bad either, you know. No, no, um, yeah, not at all. <laughs> and then the 9.6 on November 23rd, um, sold for 95 bucks, and mm -hmm. then on November 8th. Um, a 9.8 sold for 219. So you can see that uh, 219 over there for the direct, and then the uh, newsstand went for 523. So it's about almost even more than doubled, man. For yeah, the, it's uh, more than double. Yeah, mm -hmm. not bad. So uh, keep an no. eye for those newsstands. Yeah, yeah. So yeah those newsstands sure. are, are doing pretty well still. And mm -hmm. and this this book looks. I mean, this book looks like it's uh, selling still. You know, it's yeah, always in yeah, the gamut. It's a real popular character. So exactly. And it's a it's a it's a it's a cheaper way to go instead of the other one, you know. So oh yeah, yeah. The other ones gets gets pretty astronomical when you get into like nine six nine eight it starts to get pretty yeah. expensive. And then uh, the raws on November thirteenth, the uh, the annual uh, went for uh, thirteen fifty for a raw. Um, and on a November again on a November thirteenth um, for twenty one fifty for a raw, 
And on November 13th, uh, 20 bucks, I would say, for the Raw. And then on November yeah. 12th, another one went for $31. $31 yeah. plus $7.50 shipping, man. Yeah. So I would say, I still say this is, this is a great book to get. You know, a lot of room for this because we haven't any. Definitely. It's all rumors right now. You know, it's all mm -hmm. rumors. There hasn't been any, um, any, any announcement, you know, any official announcement. So, yeah, totally yeah. Real good book to get. Yeah, I think w whether you really want that graded copy or you just want a raw copy to hold on to for a little while that looks pretty good. I think it's a good investment either way, you know. All right, guys, uh, we're back to this book now. This is my this is one of my favorite books of all time. Moon Knight's my favorite character in all of comics. Um, I have multiple uh, copies of this in multiple grades. Uh, I do not have a 9-8, surprisingly. <laughs> um, I've looked for one for quite a while, but this is Moon Knight number one. Um, this first first in his own series, because his first appearance is in World by Night 32. But uh, a whole 50 cents for this book when it came out. And for a long time, um, even up to a, probably about five or six years ago, this you could still get this book for 50 cents all the time. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So much so that like this is going to sound probably kind of unbelievable. But at one time, I had 25 copies of this, and I don't think I paid over a dollar for any. Yeah, I got I got mine at a dollar bin, bro. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And you can still find them out there in dollar bins. This book was heavily printed, so this is not a rare book by any means. But um, it does get a little bit harder to get in a in a nine eight. Um, but as you can see, this book is now at number 30. Uh, fell 11 spaces from number 19. Um, but I don't. It's it's kind of hard to to argue with how uh, awesome this book is, at least for me, because I love the character so much. But it's got an awesome cover, um, you know, Tinkevich and Doug Mensch. Like, it's a great pairing for for this. It if for anyone who hasn't read this, this is a it's a good read too. It's a first issue, but it's a really good read as well. So I highly recommend it. Um, it has all three of the guys on uh, all of his personas on the uh, the cover. On the cover, yeah, yeah, exactly. It has Mark Spector, Jake Lockley, and and Stephen Grant. Uh, the kind of playboy and, and you know often he's compared he's kind of said oh this is marvel's uh, uh batman that's what he's compared to except he's a little bit unhinged right because he's kind of mm -hmm. like mentally unstable but um that's kind of where the the comparison ends to batman because he's different in a lot of ways but let's uh let's kind of see what cgc has uh to say or not cgc let's oh well, yeah cgc the census uh and whatever other graded copies are out there, let's check them out. All right, you can see right there on the screen, publication November 10th, 1980, full 50 cents like we were talking about. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, names, good names on this book. Bill Sankowitz, Sal Bushima, uh, Doug Mensch wrote it, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, this is the origin of Moon Knight as well, with the first appearance of Bushman, which is kind of like his uh, arch nemesis, and the first appearance of the god Conchu, which is he's the avatar for the god Conchu. For anyone who doesn't know or hasn't seen the show, he kind of gets his powers from from that god. There's a whole uh, ten thousand eight hundred and twenty one of these graded. Uh, Man, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, we're going for it. <laughs> they 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 were beforehand. I mean, I I was one of them too. I sent in three copies to get graded, and I didn't get anything higher than a nine two. Um, but that was when I first kind of started sending books into CGC. Uh, I didn't really do much before that. And I didn't really, you know, know the ins and outs of grading, but that's okay because you know what? People want lower grade copies as well. Not everyone's hunting for uh, that nine, eight um, like me. <laughs> um, but as you can see, uh, just under 11,000 uh, cop universal copies on the census, uh, about 11 and a half. Uh, total graded on the census. That includes everything yellow labels as well. Um, for the nine eights, got about 1,200 on the census with 726 sales. So this book is moving quite a bit for, for how many uh, in that grade are graded. Mm. Uh, you got a FMV of 425, uh, one-year moving average of 342, 90-day is 308, and 30-day is 331. So those... Those, you know, one year, 90 day, 30 day, those are all kind of lurking around the same price. Not too much, but the FMV is a, a lot higher on that one. Uh, your nine six, uh, you can 
see people are looking for that 9.8. Like I always say, they fall just a little bit short. There's 2,509 of them uh, on the census and 1185 sales. So this grade is moving as well. Uh, FMV is 130. Your one year moving average is 127, right underneath 90 days, right underneath that at 110, and 30 days, 103. So uh, you can, you know, you can tell that people are uh, wanting wanting this book in in any kind of high grade, anything above a 92, I say this is kind of what people are were going for. 94, there's 2,200 of them on the census. The FMV is 120. The one year average is uh, 88, 90 days, 75 and 30 days, 70 bucks. So you can find a, a decently priced, pretty high grade copy of this book um, all over the place because it's it's moving. All right, let's check out what eBay is doing with this book. Uh, you can see right there on the screen, a 9.6 on November 12th sold for 83.55 with 15 bucks shipping. On the same day, uh, 9.8 sold for 350. So, I mean, that's a little ways below FMV. So you can still get the deals on, on a nine, eight, if you are. That was a good deal. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's uh 75 bucks off. That's, it's, that's pretty solid. You know, um, a nine, four went for about 45 with right around 20 bucks shipping and an eight, five, <laughs> an eight, five went for 59 50 with 15 bucks shipping, man, that person Man-day. had the, had the FOMO. <laughs> Dude, the, the, I don't know. It looks like the sentiment, man, for um, besides yeah. that 8.5, the sentiment yeah. for Moon Knight is down. You know? yep. so. Yeah. And you know what's weird about this book is that um, it's, a, it's a little bit more difficult to find a direct copy in higher grade than it is a newsstand because mm-hmm. there are still a lot of newsstands uh, copies being circulated around this time. Um, yeah. But yeah, you're, I think you're right. I think that sentiment got, got to them. And uh, a, a reason, I think, or at least part of the reason why this book is kind of uh, slipped a little bit is because they were, everyone was hyped on season two. There was leaks there. There's been leaks over the last, um, I don't know, six to eight months with little people saying things here, or there, Oscar Isaac says, Oh, I'm back in Egypt and, and saying all these different things. And I think they're just trying to buy a little uh, buzz for the show. Mm-hmm. But, um, I read an article about the director of the first season and the supposed mm-hmm. director of the second season saying you know marvel hasn't said anything to me yet mm. we're, we're we're not we, we're not green lit for a second season um and the only the only uh show that was supposed to get a second season from the get-go was loki so mm. uh yeah it's, it's kind of you know disheartening for moon knight fans but at the same time there's still hope because he can show up in you know a bajillion other places he's part of the um uh, the kind of the occult stuff you can show up with world by night, or if they start mm-hmm. to move towards vampires, he can, you know, he fits in that, all that stuff kind of well. So I think he, we, what we needed more was more moon night in uh season one, you know, there wasn't yeah. enough yeah. moon, the moon night, you know, a- uh, actual moon. Yeah. Night. Like, yeah, ex- I totally agree with you. I, I, I wish there, they, he just had more screen time in costume, mm-hmm. more fighting, more, uh, kind of action that kind of showed it instead of just the last couple uh, whatever episodes at where he showed up, you know, um, I, I get it. You got to build a story. And usually that's what the first season's for. But you definitely could have showed him in costume kicking butt a little bit more than he did. <laughs> it would have been a lot better. Um, raw copies are going for, you know, right around the anywhere from 23 to, to $35 mark on the 12th one sold for for 24 bucks another one on the 12th sold for 23 with a couple bucks shipping on each one on the 10th you got a 33 dollar copy that was sold and um uh same thing on the on the 10th a 32 dollar copy that was sold so you know you're looking in the 20 to to 40 dollar range probably high end for a raw copy of this um mm-hmm. if you if you're really hunting that raw but they're out there everyone's everyone's got them everyone's got yeah that. it's not a bad price right now no man. no yeah, not at all is... it's a it's a good entry it's a good entry point like we say right like yeah. you can get you can get in on this book pretty cheap um and then if it is announced again you know you can make a an okay amount i'm sure especially, especially now <laughs> especially now man it's it's a good time to buy it. like we're in a big uh comic book recession i mean yeah. it's a super buyer's market plus we're mm-hmm. in uh 
you know, winter or fall, you know, Christmas season moving into winter, which is like always the best time to buy books. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right before Christmas, everyone wants to get gifts and, and they want to, you know, sometimes get a gift for themselves and stuff. So yeah, it, it's the right time to buy. Um, and it's, it'd be the right time to buy this book. Uh, I saw this on a LCS shelf the other day. It was, looked like a pretty high grade copy and he wanted uh, 45 bucks for it. Mm. So not, not too shabby. Not too bad. Not too bad. No, not at all. All right, friends. So the next book up is, uh, we're, we're going to start doing this, Craig. Um, what do you think, man? I think we're it's gonna a great start, idea. We're going to start introducing the, uh, the new to uh, the 100 or the one that's uh, doing the uh, Titanic, man, that's just holding on. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this week we have uh, new to the list uh, at number 100 is a Marvel premiere number 15. Um, and as you guys all know, this is the first appearance of Daniel Rand, the Iron Fist. Um, this is also the first appearance of UT, the Dragon Lord. Um, this is the first team appearance of the Dragon Kings. And this is the intro, uh, introduction uh, to Kun Lun. And then the uh, first appearance of Wendell Rand, that's Daniel Rand's uh, dad. This was uh, written by Roy Thomas. Um, artist was uh, Gil Kane. It was published on May 10th, uh, 1974. Cover price on this was 25 cents, man. So we all know that uh, the the new Iron Fist right now is uh, Lin Wei, the uh, the Swordmaster. Yeah. Um, but uh, this is the classic, um, the classic, classic Iron Fist, Daniel Ren. He also appeared in the uh, the um, uh, the Netflix show, um, mm -hmm. which you know I, I enjoyed it, man. People say you know. You know, it was uh, it was whatever, but I liked it um, back in those days, back in the, uh, the, you know, the uh, 2010s, you know, like yeah, those, yeah, you know, no, he was I, in I, Defenders as well, you know, like yep, it was good, yep. man, you know, I, I love the show, but I, I'm, I'm a martial arts fan. I, I know you are too, but mm -hmm. so I was, I was all in, I was like, cool, this looks cool. And it, and it was pretty good. I, I'm not going to say it was fantastic, but it, I, but it was enjoyable. It was fun to watch. Yeah. I mean, there's always like, you know. One side here saying, you know, cultural appropriation and mm -hmm. the other side saying here, like, it sucks. And then the middle yeah. guys like us saying, like, yeah, I liked it. It was OK. Yeah. I watched it through. I watched it through, man. I, I watched all Same. the uh, the, the Marvel, uh, the Marvel shows on um, on Netflix as well. But um, yeah. I really enjoyed it. And, um, you know, Daniel Rand's uh, is a he Daniel Rand is Iron Fist is a classic character. And and yeah. why not? Why not buy this now, man? While it's, uh, you know, um, you know, on the lesser half of the, the top 100. Um, yep. And I'm glad because I don't have this book. And I was actually looking at this book, you know, I was really pricing it out. And I was mm -hmm. surprised for how much it's going. Um, I was really surprised and I'm kind of uh, happy I didn't buy it when I, when I, um, when I should have. Um, <laughs> and then I'm glad because the prices are right where I want them to be. And this yeah. is, uh, and let's see why, man. Let's mm -hmm. go check out, uh, go click them and move over to uh, eBay to see what these books are going for. Cool. All right, amigo. So here we go. With uh, Marvel premiere number 15, there are about 4,672 uh, graded. Uh, 353 of them are signed. 75 are restored. Um, the 9.8s, uh, there are 95, only 95 on the census, man. Of wow. 9 .8s. That's not a lot, huh? No, not uh, at all. For a character like this. Um, mm -hmm. Sales on this were 49. The F&B is about $3,400. And this is where I was talking about. I was like, man, I'm glad, kind of glad I waited. Yeah. Um, the one-year average is uh, up. You know, at forty seven about forty seven hundred dollars, but the uh, ninety day average is a uh, twenty five oh one. Thirty day average is twenty five one. So it seems like in the last ninety days, maybe just mm. one nine point eight sold, huh? For twenty five oh one. Yeah, yeah. I think that's that's. I think you're right <laughs> for it to yeah, be that, that low. That kind of cut that cut down the F and B on that. Yep. Um, the nine point sixes. There's two fifty eight on them. Um, the F and B is nineteen fifty. The one year average is twelve fifty seven. And then 90 day is uh 1099, so that's cut in half. Hmm. Um, yeah, 9.4, they're about 1250. Uh, the one year average is 878, the uh, 90 uh 90 day moving average is 1300. Um, and then the 9.2s is about 550 um, on the FMB, and the one year is 541, and the uh, 30 day is 500. Um, hmm. but man, prices on these are uh pretty like most books but this book especially is like cut in half you know yeah, everywhere yeah yeah i i 
you're you're a hundred percent right. I want this book now. <laughs> I don't I don't I have it. this book, man. I uh, was I was really gonna buy this book. I was looking at a raw book, and we'll look at the raws, and I'll tell I'll tell you guys how much the guy was asking for. And this was only like um, I mean that that was like eight months ago. Um, and oh, I was wow. I had the money in hand. I had the money. In hand. I was like, man, I should get that. And I totally forgot about it and didn't buy it. Mm -hmm. Um, and now I'm just like, man, thank you know, thank you for me. Thank you, Ian, in the past for not buying that because <laughs> yeah, look at the yeah. uh, price on the yeah. books now. Now you can actually buy one and buy another book. Yeah, um, future Ian, thanks you. Thank you, man. So um, <laughs> I don't know, man. The this the sweet spot for this on me, you know, in, in my price range would probably be like, I don't know, maybe the uh, maybe a let me see here, maybe a nine point two. You know, that's that's um, what I was looking at. Yeah, I would do a nine point two, man. You could probably get it. Um, like you, if you, if you look at the 90 day moving average, so oh, it's, you know, about, you know, about what, $70 off, you know, in, in, in the red. Yeah. So that looks like you could probably, you know, pick one up for, I don't know, 450, you know, yeah. 450 yeah. on a, on a, on you someone that's willing to part with it for, uh, you know, Christmas presents for their wives, you know? Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, yeah. It, it's yeah. a good time to buy right now. Like guys, absolutely. Yeah, it is. Uh, we are in a comic book recession, no lie about it. And then we're in Christmas as well. So like it's yep. like a double whammy for like buying books. You know? yep. so, people, people be willing to make them deals on 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 books. They'll want to want to get them gone. So, yeah, just, I think, you know, I'm just glad we have this information because, man, I'm just like, man, I could really buy this book and buy another book that I'm looking for. Yeah. And, and let's let's see why on eBay. So here we go with the eBay sales. Um, you know, we like to do show to eBay sales because we do have the data over there on GoClick, but this either confirms or um, unconfirms what's going on over there in the data. And usually yeah. GoClick's on it. So mm -hmm. you can say what you want to say about, you know, data-driven stuff, but it actually matches what we're watching here on um, on eBay. Um, yeah. So the 7.0 is uh, selling for 215 One sold for 215 on November 10th. Um, a 7.5 on uh, November 9th sold for less than 300 bucks. So I'm saying, like, I don't know, 280, you know, let's call it. Yeah. yeah. Um, 9.2 sold for 500 bucks. Um, and uh, let me see that 9.2. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Nothing special about that one. Just, no, just, just, you know, just a regular mm -hmm. copy. Um, rather, uh, yep. Yeah. Um, and then November 7th, uh, once a uh, 2.5 sold for 61 bucks. Eh, yeah, 2.5. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's if pretty. you really wanted it, right? Yeah, like under 100 bucks. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. So that, that yeah. So looking at that, man, the nine point that 9.2 on a direct copy, you know, mm -hmm. um, that that's a pretty decent price, right? 500 bucks for that one. De yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, I, you and I would probably be like, hey, here's 400 and see kind of where we would go from there. But yeah, that's not that's not bad at all for a 9.2. Yeah, and a Bronze Age book, too. Yeah. Um, on November 8th, um, so we're looking at the Raws now, guys. So the uh, on November 8th, okay, before I go into this, like the book I was going to buy, I was going to buy a Raw, and the mm -hmm. guy was asking for 350 you know? It was about oh, wow. like uh, 7.580. Um, okay. So look, I mean, I could buy, I could, you know, 450 I had the, I had the, well, yeah, I, I have the, what did I say, 350 or 450 Three, You said 350 Yeah, 350 I think it was, yeah, it's around 350 mm -hmm. So, um I had the money in hand, so now I can yeah. actually buy another book, you know, because yeah, it looks like you know Raws are going for one fifty now. Yeah, um, you could get you could get you could get this, and you could get like a nine point two Moon Knight number one for the same price. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could I, I could bundle up right now. Yeah, I could yeah. actually go, you know, for that that three fifty dollars spin. I was like, I'll pick up this plus that plus that. What do you think yep. for three fifty? Yeah. You know, there you um, go. so on November eighth, um, uh, six point five. They're calling went for let's say one fifty. A number on November eighth, another six point five went for one fifty. Let's say, and then um, a VF mm -hmm. on November eighth went for best offer on one thirty nine. So let's call it one twenty five. What do you think? One twenty five? Yeah, 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 probably. Yeah. And on November third, um, didn't say what type of uh, what, what what the grade was or what the condition was. So it was about one hundred eighty four dollars. Um, mm -hmm. So great time to buy some Danny Rand, man, and it's great yeah. cover. You know, they're yeah, like such awesome, an awesome, awesome cover. cover. Yeah, such a yeah. cool cover, such a cool first appearance. You know, this is the opposite of what we were talking about with the, um, the uh, X-Men annual with Gambit, not on the cover, right? These these books where you have the first appearance of a character and they're on the cover, they're always going to go for more money. Mm -hmm. 
All right, amigos. So here we go with the uh, giveaway and the uh, question. Just remember, write the answer in the comments um, and then hashtag Code Comics, and that's all you have to do. Um, and uh, the winner, I think on December 2nd, we'll do a drawing for this. The uh, Duke Ashcan from uh, New York Comic Con 2023 with the the signature from the writer and the artist. So uh, nice. let's do the question, man. What do you think? Let's see it. Yeah, let's 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 hear it. All right, guys. So the question is, who is Sabretooth's son? Who <laughs> is Sabretooth's son? That is the question. Who is Sabretooth's son? Write it there in the comments. Hashtag Coke Comics, and we'll get you in the drawing. Next up, friends, we got X Men number one um, from 1991, man. October 1991, and this was printed uh, 10 million times. Would you say, or 10 trillion times? So a, a bajillion times. I don't even know. There's <laughs> so many of these out there. <laughs> so many times, man. Um, it was um, October 1991. Um, Right now, it's at number 28. Um, it's down 13 spots from uh, number 15. Um, and this was uh, the, the great collaboration, man. The great co collaboration with uh, writer Chris Claremont. And the artists on this were Jim Lee and Scott Williams. Super. Mm -hmm. I, there, there was tons of these printed. And everybody has like 20 of these in their long box somehow. Yeah. You always find these in dollar bins. Yeah, um, forever. But these got popular because uh, Jim Lee's Jim Lee signing at CGC. Um, mm -hmm. But the uh, the deadline was November 10th, so people would just stop buying these. You know, um, yeah. You know, I, I don't know how you don't have you know one of these in your collection. This is a, the special collector's edition. There's also you know a newsstand direct uh, with the yellowish you know um, the yeah. yellowish cover, um, the full the full color. With the full color, not the yeah, but the full color on it. Yeah. Um, but this is this is also a great one, and you know, if you want to send it in and get it signed in silver, um, I am also looking forward to seeing Jim Lee here in San Diego. He's going to be at Ninja Exchange signing like today when we drop this video. I'll probably be over there. If you see me over there, say what's up. Um, I have what actually one of these. I have a newsstand copy that was signed by Chris Claremont and Scott Williams. I just need Jim Lee's signature on it to finish up the uh, the trifecta. And nice. that's only just need one book. Um, but <laughs> yeah, Jim Lee's still, you know, um, a very, uh, you know, his signature is still very regarded and, and, yeah. um, and there's a big demand for it. So a lot of mm -hmm. people were sending books to CGC and I don't blame him. He's yeah. a very hard man to catch nowadays. Very hard yeah. man to catch. He's all over the place. Exactly. I just remember when, uh, you know, Jim, you were signing, you know, every, you know, at a lot of places and it was for free. <laughs> Those are the, those yep. are the good old days, but, uh, you know, good old we're days. not living in those days anymore. So, uh, <laughs> nope. Mm -hmm. but I don't blame you, Jim. I don't blame you. I, I mean, nope. I, 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 you know, <laughs> we all gotta, we all gotta eat, right? Yep. <laughs> so, that's right. Feed the fam. But let's see what's going on, uh, on over there on, uh, go collect and, uh, see what these prices are going for. All right, friends. So here we go. Um, there are 5,175 graded on the universals, um, signatures. There's about 2100 uh 2146 and they're about to be uh 5000 <laughs> 5400 because there's going to be a ton more um <laughs> yep. of signatures yep. on these ones yep. so here it, it's coming guys mm -hmm. um the 9.9 .9 just 24 in a census goes for about 578 um the 9.8s there's uh 30 3440 of these the F and V on them are $80 the one year moving average is about 77 90 day moving average is 86. And because of the signing, there were people, you know, buying more than the FMV because they wanted to get that 9.8. Yeah. Um, so they bought 9.8s to get to send in to CGC, hoping they'll get that 9.8 back. Um, and that's why probably the 30 day moving average is, is a lot higher than the FMV. So I would kind of, you know, if you $91, if you're going to pay for a 9.8 Jim Lee book, I mean, just do it, you know, but yeah, if you yeah. want to wait for a deal, you can wait. You can mm -hmm. you can totally wait on a deal for this one. For the nine point sixes, there's uh, nine hundred thirty on a census. The FMV is sixty bucks. Um, the one year moving average is fifty seven. The ninety day moving average is seventy four. And look, the, it's, it's half the price for the thirty day moving average. Half the price, just like we always say, nine point eight to nine point six, about half the price. Yep, and the nine point fours, um, they're about three hundred eighty three on a census. FMV is fifty bucks. Um, yeah, the 90-day moving average is a little bit higher than the uh, FMV. Yeah. Um, 
But just be honest. If you're going to buy this book, get it at 9.8. Yeah. Wait yeah. a little bit. Um, you yep. can probably get it for 80 bucks, 70 bucks. So yeah, save it, save an extra 20 bucks. You can, you can get yourself a 9.8. But let's see what's going on over here on eBay. All right, friends. So here we go with the uh, good old Bay. November 12th, a 9.8 sold for $45. Um, on November, yeah, they already went go. for half the price, you know, mm -hmm. half the price after the, the, the deadline, which was November 10th to get those books into Jim Lee. Yep. So there you go, man. Um, you could buy right now for 45 bucks. Yeah. Uh, November 11th, a 9.8, uh, went for 60 bucks. Um, on November 11th, another 9.8 went for 75 bucks and November 9th, a 9.8 went for $60 plus $12 shipping. It's about 72 bucks. And uh, yeah. this is where I like to see it, man. Like someone was buying some good, you know, bought a, a bundle. He bundled yeah. it up. He bought 10 copies for uh, $29.99. That's about $3 a copy. But with $14 shipping, it's about $3.50 a copy. Not yeah. yeah. What a, that's a deal. He he got the, the win of the day on that one. He He's getting ready for um, all the Jim Lee signings. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, I think he was probably getting ready for it because, look, this was bought on October 5th. Yeah, so, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure he was He's hoping to get a, a high grade candidate out of there that he could send in and get signed. Yep, and uh, November 9th, one sold for five fifty, um, and then one was sold for twenty bucks. You know, mm. uh, yeah, it was just a raw. I was like, uh, if you want to pay twenty bucks for it, that, you know, yeah, you know, good for you. It's pretty steep. <laughs> and November twelfth, um, uh, one for one sold for seven bucks. So pretty. Decent price books if you if you need a, a Jim Lee book to get signed. If mm -hmm. you want that trifecta, you want if you see, you know, if you want a Chris Claremont, Scott mm -hmm. Williams, and Jim Lee's, this is the book to always yep. look for. Um and don't don't spend too much on this one, guys. You know, like nah, just wait. Nah. If you want to get a 9.8, wait, wait a little bit. Yep. They're out there. You'll find them cheap. All right, everyone. So now we have the final book of the show today. This is Transformers number one, uh, originally intended to be a limited series of four issues, but it was so popular it went on, obviously, because all the toys and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, the key significance of this book it's the first one in the series, and it has an awesome cover by uh, Bill Sienkiewicz. And yeah, Bill, uh, Bill, Bill uh, Sienkiewicz is that kind of ruling our 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 show today? Yeah, man, he's 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 all he's all over the place. Uh, and I am, I'm lucky enough to have this guy in a nine, eight, uh, the wife hooked me up. I was pretty, Good pretty stoked you, on this. Yeah. But I, I, you can probably see it. Maybe if I get closer, it's not that good. of a, It's a third print. So it's not the first print, but oh. I'll still, I'll, I'll still take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm, I'm, I'm still happy to have it. Uh, this is now at number 74 on the list. Fell 29 spots uh, from number 45, whole 75 cents when it came out. Um, what There's nothing else to say about this book, right? Everyone loves, uh, if you're a, an 80s kid, even a 90s kid, right, uh, with the later editions of Transformers, but especially if you're an 80s kid, you love this book. You collect comics, you you want this book, right? Everyone has been kind of clamoring for, for this book and um, been... I, it's always on my radar. I'm always looking for this book. Everyone's kind of always looking for this book, but uh, I'm just happy to have it. Um, and it got popular because uh, Skybound uh, yeah. you know, purchased the rights to yeah. Transformers, Transformers and G.I. Joe. Joe. The whole Energon yeah. universe, Avoid Rivals is coming in. That's why the book spiked. But now uh, it's kind of cooled down a little bit. Now there's a couple issues out of the first couple titles. So that's why it's starting to fall. There's not as many people clamoring for this issue in particular. Um, and they're starting, I think they're starting to look at the, uh, the skybound, uh, slash image ones, right. They want to go that route and kind of see where that story's going. Um, but you know, this book is, this book is always desirable. I think it'll probably be always. at least, you know, if it's not in the top 100, always it's hovering right around there. So you just see how people... popular transformers are from like, uh, when, uh, San Diego comic-con was happening and they had the, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they had the ash cans, you know, yeah. that, that was like the kind of the book of the con. Everybody mm -hmm. was trying to get that book. And then the black and white one came out. And yep. Yeah. That yeah. was like all over, mm -hmm. all over the place. You got the one of there. those. I think you got one of those, right? 
I didn't get the black and white, man. I should. I oh, mean, I was planning on going to that panel, but mm -hmm. somehow I got derailed. And then I heard, sure. yeah, dude, they were just giving out like the the black and whites. And then, um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, they were. I mean, you could get multiples of them if you wanted to. Oh man, that's yeah, so. yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind having one of those or even a, a number one uh, of that, the convention one, because it's pretty cool, right? I think it's like Marty McFly sitting on the shoulder of of Optimus yeah. Prime, right? That's what I heard. That's, what what I heard was Robert Kirkman. Robert mm -hmm. Kirkman was like, uh, guys, uh, we have a giveaway. Um, we, we heard the other ass cat is doing pretty well, so grab as many as you want. <laughs> so, oh, man, that's awesome. <laughs> as they were walking out the door. I think uh, Javid had saw someone like uh, um, turn one in a CGC that day, too. Oh, I, that I, I it, that's, a, that's a good move because, right, I mean, their turnaround's fast, pretty fast right now for getting your books back. You, and if you didn't want it, you could offload it, I'm sure, real quick. So No one knew it. about that book. It was a total, you know, surprise. Yeah, surprise, yeah. right? Yeah, no, that's, yeah. But you're right. That is why this book got real hot again, and now it's starting to kind of cool off. Um, but, yeah, let's check out uh, Go Collect and see what, what's going on with them. All right. So you can see right there, Key Significance, first issue in the series, a whole 75 cents when it came out on August 31st, 1984. There is four 9.9s on the census. Um, so that that shows you, to get this book in that high of a grade, pretty difficult to do. Um, there's uh, just about six, just over 6,000 uh, graded in the uh, blue label. Uh, signature is about 618. Um, but yeah, four 9.9s. Um, and the FMV on that's about 1,500 bucks, 1,550. So that that goes to goes to tell you right there. Uh, if you got one of those, you got a you got a a, de a decent uh, check on your hands. If you don't just, want just, it, just thinking back in 1984, <laughs> the only ones buying these books were us, man. That's little like oh, dude, or kids. six year old kids. Oh, I know, it, I know. It was just us. It was uh, yep. six, seven year, eight year old kids is buying these books, man, and yep. throwing them in their back pocket. So like nine point eights, no, it ain't happening. Yeah, yeah, it's not exactly. That's why it's so difficult to find these. I, I remember I had a, a later issue of this book and I did exactly what you just said. I put it in my back pocket with, along with like two other comics. I folded them in half and rode to my friend's house and we just read comics. <laughs> yeah, you weren't thinking about great. You're just like, I just want to yeah. like, let's just go. Read. Yeah, let's just go have a, you know, sit around and, and read comics. It's funny. Ride your see. bike. Yep. Yeah. Unlock that memory. It made me think of it. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, 9.8. We got 645 on the census. Um. And about 298 sales. So about half of them are selling. And with the FMV of 1650, that's it shows you that this this book was definitely moving. Uh, a one year average of 1460, a 90 day of 1458. So just a couple bucks less. Um, and the 30 day is exactly the same as the 90 day. 9.6s. We got uh, just over 1200 on the census with 528 sales. So roughly uh, just under half moving with the FMV of 350, uh, one year average of 330, a 90 day average of 334. So that's why you see that spike, right? And a 30 day of 333. So that's, you know, went up a little bit, but balanced out over all the sales to kind of uh, get you that FMV at 350. 9.4, we got uh, just over a thousand with 405 sales with FMV of 210. Um, that that's crazy that this book is yeah. in a nine in a 9.4 is only uh 210 dollars i remember just you know when the boom happened this this book I, even even nine o's were going i think for like 500 dollars because everyone wanted this book mm -hmm. way before we knew about you know energon and, and the new transformers but everyone really was was kind of clamoring for for this book it's surprising that the fmd on a, on that I don't want to say low of a grade. It's it's a high grade, but look, you know, compared to the nine eight, is only two hundred and ten bucks. That's that's crazy for a nine. No, I'd go for a nine six if you ask me. Nine, I six would is, too. Yeah, that's a, that's the prime. That's that's mm -hmm. the sweet spot. I mean, yeah. you, you you could you know hopefully you could mm -hmm. you know you get an old label on it. Look for the old labels. Yep. Bust it out. Press it. Yep. Clean it. Send it back. Maybe get a nine point eight. You know. I so. agree. I agree too. And and transformers are just like you said. They're wildly popular. It's it's not all going over the world. It's, it's just, yeah. It's it's not going anywhere. You know. You got people like us who it hit it hits the nostalgia. You got new readers who are really who love robots and love transformers and love all the newer transformers movie and that kind of ties into them wanting to collect that kind of stuff. 
Uh, Transformers has universal appeal and they're not going anywhere. For and me, it was more I, envy, man, because I was a poor kid, you know, mm-hmm. and um, I would watch the other kids come to school with their Transformers. Oh, you yeah. know, like Optimus Prime. That was so mm-hmm. sick, you know, like, or like, uh, yep. you know, Megatron and, mm-hmm. and, you know, and all the other Transformers in uh, jazz. And what was the yeah. one that played the tape? Um, Soundwave. Uh, Shockwave. Soundwave or shock, uh, Soundwave? Shockwave. Sound- Shockwave. 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 Shock- Soundwave or sh- I think it was sound- Soundwave actually. Soundwave, Soundwave, Soundwave yeah. and mm-hmm. yeah, man. And the I little remember. tapes, remember the, the little, little tapes, tapes they you would turn put in them. Those, yeah. yeah, they transformed as well. Man, I love Transformers. They were diecast they were so too. Cool. Like they yep. were, you know, like they were awesome. I, just, I couldn't afford one, so I'm always, I was always mm-hmm. like. Dude, I was so kind of, I was so like uh, jelly and envious of. Uh, oh yeah, I was, I was the same way. I remember one year I asked for uh, my 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 favorite transformer was Jetfire, right? He's the one that turned into a jet. It's like a white and red jet. And I remember one year I asked for it for Christmas, and I had it for a total of like a month, and it fell. I I was I lived on a boat um, back in the day, and it fell overboard. Oh, dude. Yeah, and I was so heartbroken. <laughs> I was so bummed that I lost it. I only had it for like a month, but it's okay because I'm older now and I got it back. <laughs> Bro, I, I love Starscream so much. I went on a Starscream, you know, like because oh uh, yeah, Starscream was you dope. Know, Starscream was dope, man. And uh, mm-hmm. I actually found him like five years ago at a flea market. You know, like nice. uh, the original, yeah, diecast cool, and everything. Dude. My That's son awesome. plays with him now, but mm-hmm. you could have you could have break those things. My, my son, no, like, dude, he, those things around you they're they're unbreakable you know like no, they're just, they they really are right. like yeah and you know what's crazy about them too is that uh i remember my brother-in-law was uh kind of showing him and his kids he had a bunch of them and we were kind of tr- messing with them and playing with them and stuff like that and i watched his kid smash it on the table and it didn't do anything <laughs> to it and i was like man these toys were built to last i wish they still made toys like this i know they 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 don't man no <laughs> not not at i just all. missed i missed all those those uh you know die cast ones like voltron oh yeah on it and, and a die cast and yep um yeah. i don't know about yeah. robotech robotech was plastic you yeah know, robotech so. robotechs were a little bit more fragile i remember i had one of those and they broke kind of quickly but you're right Vol- voltrons were built to last too yeah yeah mm-hmm. I, i'm but you know like uh I'm I'm always on the lookout for transformers at flea markets. Oh yeah, dude, you. that's that's a that's the spot to get them. You know, sorry sorry guys, we went down a little uh, uh, memory lane trip right there. We're talking about transformers, but you know, uh, let's check out what uh, what eBay's doing with the sales on this book. All right, as you can see right there at the top, graded copies on November thirteenth, uh, a nine went for one oh seven uh, with fifteen bucks shipping on the twelfth. You had a 9.6 best offer accepted of under 400 bucks. So they probably got it for around 375, something like that. That's not bad for a, a 9.6 yeah. though. Um, it's kind of what, you know, the kind of where it was going at. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's right, right around the FMV for that. Anyways. Um, another 9.6 went for best offer accepted under 350. So maybe, you know, 330, some 325, something like that. It's a pretty good deal. Uh, and a 9.4 went for uh, just under 220 best offer accepted. With fifteen bucks shipping, uh, rock oh, really good time to buy a man at a on sale. Oh yeah, definite, de- definite. Because I think a lot. This of This would people... be one I would actually put behind me too. I would put Optimus Prime next to him. Oh um, yeah, you know my Abs- shelf and absolutely, dude. dude. Yeah, this one sits on my shelf, um, and I rotate it out with my Star Wars number one. <laughs> when I get tired of looking at the Star Wars one, I'll put the Transformers <laughs> one out, and I just switch them. Um, but but yeah, that's this is a a great time to buy. Um, Anything above, I think, a nine two in this um, yeah. slab, you know, you're going to get a, a great deal on it, especially comparing it to what it was going for just a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. Man, it's a, a world of difference in the price. Um, but over at the Raws uh, on the 13th, somebody got one, two, and three best offer accepted. Can't really tell the grade, but best offer accepted under fifty bucks with five dollars shipping. That's a score right there. Yeah, they bundled up on that one. Yeah, that's a that's a good bundle for sure. Um, somebody got a number one second print for the uh, same thing, just under 50. Um, and then another number one for, uh, under 35 and then, uh, one more for just under 60 bucks on 12 bids. Um, so you can, the, the way to go, it looks like is, um, looking at, especially all these sales, recent sales mm-hmm. is all these people are, uh, willing to take offers on them. So throw those offers out there. Don't be, don't be scared to, to offer, you know, 
what your lowest price you think you can afford on this is and, and work up from there. And uh, if you're really in, in the market for this boat. Yeah. Five out of eight, man, took offers. Yeah. This. That's so. And these I mean, are all the recent ones from uh, when we taped the show. Like these are yeah. all recent. So mm -hmm. I was like, uh, yeah. we, we don't pick and choose. We just pick the recent ones, which sold, yeah. what, what are the last ones sold? Mm -hmm. So exactly. Yeah, Slabs see, like, and raw. They're, they're moving. Yeah. Yeah. So they're you moving. see, no, yeah, it's all, you know, the proof of the pudding is there. Like make offers, mm -hmm. don't buy them you know yeah don't don't don't, don't buy, buy them don't at, buy out yeah thing. don't buy out right right that's you can you can definitely find them find them there for sure i think i might put this on my list because i really want to put one on my shelf next to my optimus prime you know like yeah dude you should absolutely you know i was just thinking to looking at my my third print it would be really cool to have a, a first and a second print in in a nine eight as well <laughs> just like a row a row of number ones <laughs> that'd be pretty cool and that's that's my new goal <laughs> well you can't can, can you really uh it, you can't really tell unless you really look, right? If the print. No, I mean, no, it's the yeah, same yeah, cover. We, we, it's the exact same cover, and and uh, Indisha or Indica, however you want to say it, the little you know the box that gives you all that mm -hmm. stuff. And um, the only way you can tell is you look on the inside um, of the book, and it'll tell you yep. first, second, or third print. Right there on the yeah, the first uh, you know where they yeah. do all the copyright stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. On, on kind of like platform. the Predator book yep. and all the other ninety stuff, you know. So. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's the only way to really completely tell. You can tell price variance um, because sometimes the the little M box that's below Optimus Prime there in the corner art um, is a different shape, or it's a square, or stuff like that. You can tell on some of these eighties books. Uh, if they're a different shape, you can tell what kind of printing they are by that, mm -hmm. but not on this one. This one, you have to look on the inside just to see. So, All right, friends. Thank you for joining us here on Cold Comics. This is uh, episode number nine. Episode number nine. We're we're working towards it, man. We're working towards yep. it. Cruising right we, really along. we really appreciate you guys joining us. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe, and make sure you go follow my boy right here um, on his YouTube channel because uh, he got some stuff coming out. Um, and we also have that question once again. Who is Saber Two Son? What is the name of Saber Two Son? That's all you got to just write that there in the comments. Hashtag Code Comics, and you have a chance to win that book I showed earlier. Uh, but we also we uh, we appreciate you for uh, hanging out with us. Um, and as always, Craig, how do we do it on the show, bro? Man, we we keep that PMA right. We we stay positive. But we also stay positive cool. and cool. Stay cool.